was a guy in the Baysville Fire Department. He was uh, Australian. Now, he had a very deep Australian accent. That's all I re remembered about it. But, I mean, the way he talked to me was so common because he, 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 he knew that I was panicking, right, because I could feel it. I, I could feel, you know, my body shutting down. So he kept, he, he kept telling me, calm down, calm down, control your breathing, slow your breathing, you know, calm down. And I'll tell you, if it wasn't for that guy, you know, helping me to get to deal with, with, the, with the mental trauma, of what I was dealing with at that particular time, I probably would have packed myself right into the grave. You know, thank God for the guy, for the guy that had the EpiPen, and thank God for the guy that was standing next to him, telling me to calm down because I was I was freaking out. Um, volunteer firefighters, I consider them to be the the silent behind the scenes heroes that nobody ever sees, and they and. They deserve so much more recognition for what they've done. I mean, that guy that gave me that that deep hint, he was a volunteer. I wouldn't be alive today if it was if it wasn't wasn't for him. Now, according to Fire Chief Steve Hernan, they've had this program in place for a number of years. Um, EpiPens are not a prescription drug. They can be purchased over the counter. Anybody can at any pharmacist. And, you know, we hear about them all the times in schools because kids have them. There's lots of people that carry them now uh, because they need them. Um, years ago when we looked at, um, when we were looking at the heart attacks and AEDs and we reviewed all our medical calls, we came across the fact that EPI's uh, allergic reactions uh, was more of a common problem for us up here, uh, one that we were responding to on a regular basis and we just hadn't picked up on it until we dove into the research. Um, so at that time we decided to do a pilot project and to try them uh, to see if they were in fact a valuable tool. Um, within four weeks of them first being put on the trucks years ago, uh, we used it right away. And uh, a gentleman, very similar circumstance, down in Baysville, same crew, uh, had been stung by bees when he was working in the yard and was having a very serious uh, allergic reaction to him, didn't know he was allergic to him at the time, and was in serious trouble. And the crews were once again able to show up because they'd been trained in it, assess the situation and use the EpiPen. Hernan says that gentleman is a conager named John Newman. Ever since that incident years ago, Newman donates funds every year to keep the program going.